hundreds within minutes. Oh, I bet you'd be so fun to go tide pool. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, we need a field trip. Field trip <laughs> yeah. to the tide pools. Mm -hmm. So how has being a marine biologist, like that background, affected your music? Has it? Yeah, I think being an ecologist, I think that the way that I see the world, I, I see webs of connection. And then when you study ecology, you basically, you have to focus on the interconnectedness of everything. Okay. And then now I also am a student of traditional Chinese medicine, and that medicine is poetry and a super in-depth ecological study of like, the human system and how our systems work and how they integrate with other people's systems and the air and the earth that you know yeah. so it's all the same thing it's just like different kind of macro micro versions so i can just imagine that really awesome. affecting your music yeah yeah that's cool well can we hear a song sure and it, just about to start, you mm. usually play piano, correct? I I play both. Okay. I oh. prefer to play piano. My favorite thing is to sing. If I all could right. just like sing a cappella all day long, which is what I do anyway, I I would. Um, so if like sometimes when you have shows, like you'll play like you'll have somebody playing the piano or the guitar or whatever, and you'll be singing like by yourself or. Um, sometimes. Yeah. I'm in the process of manifesting a okay. band. Oh, really? Yeah. I like how she says that. I'm in the process of manifesting yeah. a band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but So what does that look like? <laughs> what, is that, what does that manifestation of a band look like? Um, like Magical. Yeah, okay. Um, I sing and I play and I have beautiful people playing other things and adding. I'm a very collaborative person. Okay. So the songs, I think depending on how many we get to today, the ones I'm playing are songs that I've written by myself. Oh, cool. um, I also love co-writing. I've co-written quite a bit with, um, yeah, artists from lots of different places, and uh, yeah, I really love that process. Like, if someone has an idea for a song and uh -huh. then they need help with words, I'm just I never stop. And also melodies. Um, that's yeah. funny because that's different. I mean, some artists like I Super just insular. want, mm -hmm. yeah, I got this is my thing. I don't want any other you no know, influences because this is my creation. But you love that, or you like that process mm -hmm. of. Of that collaboration mm -hmm. that's cool i love teamwork i love teamwork too yeah it works it's just you can get i don't know if you take all of the, the different kind of variables and you know random things that you can come up with and yeah. then you mix in someone else's super duper randomness then you make cool something yeah. extra weird okay well i totally <laughs> interrupted you i'm so sorry so what song are you going to play for us so i think i'll play let it be easy okay let um, it be easy. yeah you can probably guess what it's about. I can't look into your eyes Cause every time I do
Yeah. How did this musical bug hit you? Like, do, were you like three years old and all of a sudden like, I want to pick up a harmonica or guitar? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever stopped singing, ever. The funny thing to me though is that I went through a really long period of time when I wasn't focused on music and I didn't remember that I had a dream of being a singer. Oh. Or just, Were I didn't Were you just distracted with other things in I'm life? I'm not sure. I think that I just didn't see myself that way. I think something must have happened. Okay. I've been looking back. The Artist's Way is a magical book if anyone needs help going through blocks. Okay. I highly recommend it. And in that book, you go back and you look at people that have said things that were encouraging or said things that maybe planted little seeds of doubt in your mind or you know somewhere in your body and those things grow like sometimes you don't even notice or realize that they've happened and then one day you realize that like you're actually you don't need to be afraid of like swimming like it's just like it's, I don't know something weird happened when you were a kid you saw a movie and it's freaked you out and you're <laughs> like I hate water but do you really yeah. and um yeah, but I saw, I read some old papers. My mom's been cleaning out the house. Okay. And, um, it's always fun. Yeah, it is fun. And she found just, you know, those things that you do when you're in second grade. Like, I want to be a blah, blah, blah when I grow up. And I always said I wanted to do makeup and hair, okay. which I was joking before the show started that my <laughs> yeah. Meyer Briggs thing, the first thing on the list is hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> and then a famous singer. Okay. But I don't remember that. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, and I definitely... You know, fame has never um, been attractive to me, but I do know that I have to sing. Okay. So, like, yeah. that's nice. That, and we've talked about this before on the show. Even if you didn't make it as a world-famous musician and you, you didn't support yourself as a musician, you'll always have your fingers, your, your you know, to play guitar, or piano, you'll always have your voice. Like, you'll always have that be yours mm -hmm. that you can always like escape and do that whenever you want mm -hmm. yeah that is super cool yeah and it's such a gift you know it and I've realized more and more like what a gift it is and to be able to bring you know music to places where you know it just it really changes the vibe yeah you know like oh, I'll be completely. at the DMV and singing <laughs> and then I feel like I mean the people that want to be irritated are probably more irritated when you but actually sing like vocally out loud I sing always okay. I don't realize it and then people make me aware of the fact that I'm singing Wouldn't that I be can't a... whistle if I could whistle I'd probably whistle I can only whistle in for some reason it's really weird yeah I can't whistle out that's as good yeah. as it gets <laughs> not not satisfying at all I have such a great like image of you at the DMV like a video there should be a video I think of I need you. to do a music video we should the totally DMV. do it. yeah kind of like and the at, at the loud yeah oh, I love that idea you know, like it would be spontaneous. It and I'll just like, go up to people and say, smile though your heart is aching. Smile <laughs> even though it's breaking because you've been here for five hours. <laughs> that would be so yeah. awesome. I love that idea. It's okay, idea. I have a camera. <laughs> oh, so go, we should like, okay. we should do that. <laughs> yeah. After uh, the bouncy house? Because yeah. I really want to go to that fair. You know, it's so funny. So I was talking to somebody else about it that's doing an event and it's an adult event and they're like, should we have a bouncy house? I'm like, yes. oh my goodness, like, at a lot of events, like the adults use the bouncy house more than the kids. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty fun. Yeah. They're really fun. Yeah. Or the slide ones, like ones that you come on, like the big like bouncy house, like uh -huh. I guess the slide first that goes in the bouncy house. Um, yeah, adults end up playing with it more than the kids even sometimes. Adults need to play more. Exactly. Um, we'll talk about playing. Can you play us another song? I can. Like I'm that in to, That was a really, really, really clever and smooth. Um, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Transition. Transition. That was the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I haven't been a radio long. Um, <laughs> so, what is this song? I think um, this next song is called Tender Heart. <laughs> okay. And um, it was a different breakup. I write okay. a lot of songs. Well, I write a lot of songs all the time, probably every day, but I tend to finish them more when okay. they're about a relationship that's coming to that's, me. That's really close to our heart. And it is. Yeah. And it's like the, the, the cathartic uh, experience of, of out, playing yeah. it. Does that actually help? Does it? Do you feel like... Oh, you, yeah. Yeah. See, that's another gift you have. Like, I can't write a song about a breakup. Yeah, so that's Yeah, but like, then the people that can have to do it so yeah, that you can that's sing true. along really loudly in your car and then you get it out you know i remember being like 14 <laughs> years old in the grocery store and like what song it was a phil collins song and i was like oh, oh what what i can't remember what song it was but i remember i was like 
kind of singing along in my head, all depressed and sad, like this is the end of the world, you know, yeah. the love of my life at 14 years old uh, broke up with me or something. Yeah. Knife to the heart. Yeah, it was. You know, Phil Collins is always good at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's go back to you sure. more. Okay. What's that, what's the name of the song again? It's called Tender Heart. Tender Heart. Okay. Yeah. Santa Cruz 90.7 FM. Okay, so we got to hear two songs so far. But what if people want to hear more from you? How do they, like, where do they go? <laughs> this is a brilliant question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a question of the hour. It is. It's definitely the question of the year. Um, I'm currently recording an oh, EP. Yeah, with um, Eric D'Artania. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he's awesome. And I have um, Laurel Thompson. She's playing violin okay. on at least one track and Jimmy Norris is playing drums 
and yeah. Do you have like a website people like? Yeah. Like it shows like mm -hmm. connects us to like your YouTube or Instagram. Or, <laughs> yeah. yeah, those things will all be connected very okay. very soon. Okay. Yeah, I'm technologically super savvy. Affirmations. But you're, you're on Instagram though. <laughs> I'm on Instagram. That's how I found you. Yeah, you yeah. did find me through Instagram yeah. with my real name. Uh, your real name. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like somehow like was it through Facebook or Instagram? We've like connected in the past. Like, we hey, did. I'm doing a show here or something. We connected in real life. Yeah, we did? I think that's how we met. I'm remembering now. Oh my goodness, where? It was at a show. Uh, do you know what show? Like I mean, a sh like your show? I've, so, I've played with so many bands in yeah. Santa Cruz, coming full circle to the way we started today. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, don't, 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 don't get older. I don't. Yeah, I decided. Then, so I, I turned I turned 30. Okay, you're going to stop right there? No, a little while ago. 30's cool. 30's great. Yeah. And then I thought, you know, I feel younger and better and happier and healthier than I have ever felt. Cool. Um, so I think I'm just getting younger and yeah, Congratulations. I intend to just forget about age because there's so many connotations and like, you know, associations no. with higher numbers that yeah. can sometimes be negative. I'm still okay at 45. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, but the but website. Yeah. Well, actually, but yeah, real fast, sure. let's, let's get the website real fast. I mean, we'll get to the website. <laughs> so your website, how do people find out about you? So holycofficial.com, H-O-L-Y-S-E-A okay. official, O F. C-I-A-L. And like there, like if there's like upcoming shows or anything, will it be on? It will be there. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Thank you I know so. the main thing that I'm looking forward to, a fellow artist who's an amazing pop musician from Texas, is definitely coming out probably early August, and we'll be doing some shows in Big Sur and the Bay, uh, probably in Carmel, maybe cool. in Santa Cruz as well. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so keep track of the website. Um, we will do mm. a video of this um, of her performance that will go on eventsantacruz.com so all the links will be there too just so if you didn't get it um, you'll get it there yeah and one more thing one more thing I also play every for now every Tuesday evening at Julia's restaurant in Pacific Grove oh cool and they have the best vegetarian food or just a, you know regular. I am a vegetarian well so, there you go yeah and he picks wild mushrooms in their dishes nice cool yeah. Okay, well, can you, uh, we have a few more minutes. Can you play it like oh, yeah. a partial end of the, end of the, of sure, the show? Sure, this is the first song I ever wrote. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't think I was a songwriter then, so I didn't share it with anybody. But, you know, you can be anything you want to be. You just have to have talent. Not even. What is talent? Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I was thinking, like, oh, we should.